Okay, so we have the two pinch pots. And the next thing we're gonna do is to join them. We're gonna need to do the, it's called slipping and scoring. Okay, some teachers call it scratch and attach. Um, but it's basically, we're gonna use the fork as our scoring tool, or if you have a comb or anything you like. But scoring is basically roughing up the surface. Okay, so we're gonna wanna rough up that surface on both pieces. And then we're going to be adding slip. But remember, we made slip a week ago when we first started with clay um, by just basically making like a clay smoothie, okay? So here I have the two halves that have been roughed up, so they've been scored. And then we're gonna add slip. So remember, slip is like a clay smoothie. I'm gonna use a paintbrush. You can use your fingers, you can use a spoon, you could use your fork, whatever. That part doesn't matter, but you just wanna put a little bit of slip to help with the bonding. So the reason we do this is that you can press two pieces of clay together and it's gonna seem like it's stuck while it's wet, right? Because there's suction, so it's gonna feel stuck. But once it dries, those two pieces just come apart. And unfortunately, when something's dry and then the pieces fall off, we can't really put them back together very easily. So what we do instead is when we're bonding, instead of having two pieces smashed together, we rough up that surface and we put that slip in there because the slip is gonna kind of re-moisturize and then re-firm. And then when we do this, the sc uh, scoring, they kind of go together like Velcro, right? Can you imagine that? So that then when it dries, it doesn't come apart. Those roughed up edges kind of blend together, okay? So I have my two pieces I'm gonna put them together with a little bit of force and I'm gonna kind of twist them back and forth until I can feel them really start to stick, right? So I have like a part of a snowman. So that's the first part of what we're doing with this particular technique. And then the next is we wanna make sure that that's not gonna come apart. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of extra clay and I'm gonna roll a coil. So a coil is, a, is something we'll learn about later. Remember, we talked about hand building techniques and one of them is coil. We're not gonna build with a coil. Uh, instead, we're just gonna use a coil to kind of reinforce our joint, all right? So, rolling it out, we're gonna basically be making like a clay snake and that clay snake is gonna reinforce that joint where we are um, trying to, uh, combine our two pottery elements. All right. So again, whenever we attach something, we wanna slip and score it. So I'm gonna be kind of scoring up where it's gonna attach. And I'm gonna score this. Okay, so scoring, again with the slip. I'm just gonna kind of paint some slip across where I want the, the coil to connect. And then I'm gonna give my snowman a little scarf here. Kind of just pressing this into that joint. All right, so the first part of what we just did is I took two pinch pots, slipped and scored them together, then I wrapped a coil around it and slipped and scored it on, okay? So this is the base of what it is we're gonna be doing and then we're gonna try to take it um, up a notch and now we're gonna smooth this coil uh, and blend it into the form, right? So a form is what we use to describe a three-dimensional shape. So this is gonna become a three-dimensional form that's gonna be like a dragon egg shape. So I'm just gonna take my thumb and what I'm doing is, I'm just kinda of like pulling down, pulling that fresh clay down over the top of my pinch pot and it's gonna start, it's not gonna be so neat and tidy yet, but it is going to be blending those two surfaces together. So there won't be a crack anymore and I'm putting enough pressure on it so that it's going to, um, it's going to uh, be sure that 
it goes into all those little crevices and doesn't make air holes or air bubbles, okay? So, if you did this correctly, you should have kind of like a little, um, if I do this, you'll see it. Super Mario mushroom, right? So I blended this into this piece and that what it did is now it looks like my coil and that pinch pot are combined, right? I put those little eyes there to be funny, but then we're gonna now combine the coil with the below pinch pot. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, pulling it with my finger down and across using enough pressure to know that I'm getting in all the cracks. Get rid of my little Mario mushroom eyes. Okay. So now I have a funny, lumpy, not too cute uh, little shape but it is all one form, right? So that's a good, that means I did, I did my attaching correctly. It's one form, it's not, it's no longer two pinch pots, now it's just one hollow shape. Um, and so the next tool you're gonna need, which we're gonna have to be creative with this, so hold on one sec. Okay. So I use paddle, right? So if we were at school, you guys would all get paddles. And this is actually a really hilarious moment in class because we all get to like paddle our projects and it's cute and funny. Um, but uh, what some options to use instead of a paddle could be, uh, one example would be a, uh, uh, one example would be a, um, like a wooden spoon from your kitchen. So if you have like a wooden spoon, you can use that to kind of paddle it. But whatever you want to do, we're not using too much pressure, but we are just compressing this shape and it's filled with air, right? So if I hit it on one side, the air is going to be pushed out to the other. And my goal right now is going to be, I'm going to paddle my form into the shape of like a dragon egg, right? So a really big egg. Also is going to make sure that that seam that we made is really well, um, really well bonded, and it's going to force that clay into any cracks that may have got left out. Okay. So you can make it short and fat if you're going to paddle from the bottom, or you can make it long and skinny if you paddle from the. Um, From the sides. Okay. So I got my potato, my my uh, my dragon egg. Okay. So this is going to be our stopping point for today.